Microsoft has officially announced the release date of Windows 11, and it will be available from October 5, 2021. Well, not for everyone. The free upgrade to Windows 11 will begin rolling out to eligible Windows 10 PCs, and PCs that come preloaded with Windows 11 will start to become available for purchase. In this video, we are going to look at the steps to download and install the official Windows 11. After many weeks of testing, Microsoft has now finalized Windows 11, and it's making it available in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program. Previously you can download ISOs from unofficial sources, but that's kind of like buying counterfeit software, you could get the software, or you might get into something entirely unexpected. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your computer is capable of running Windows 11, and you can do this by using the official PC Health Check application. You can download it right up here, or down below in the description. Once the download and the installation is completed, you can click the Check Now button, as you can see this particular computer meets all the requirements. You can also see the full report here by clicking the See All Results. Now that you have confirmed that your hardware is capable of running Windows 11. Next we have to join the Windows Insider program. Joining Windows Insider program is not going to cost you anything. It's entirely free. To join the program, go to the website, insider.windows.com. The link is right above, and also available in the description, down below. Once you are in the Insider program homepage, you will see a register button, click on that, and then you will have to sign in with a Microsoft account. Once you finished signing up for the program, you will land on the Get Started page on the Insider program. In the preparation, you will see this link that says, Download a Windows Insider Preview ISO. On the Windows Insider Preview download page, at the very bottom, you will see a drop-down list that contains all the different ISOs that you can download. And currently there are two available builds for Windows 11, the Dev Build and the Beta Build. I am going to select the Beta Build, as it will be more stable compared to Dev Build. Once you finish downloading the ISO to install Windows 11, simply double-click on the ISO. And that will mount the image, and then you can click on setup.exe to start the install process. During the installation process, you will be prompted with two different options. You can do an in-place upgrade, where you keep all of your apps and files. Or you can also choose to go for a clean install of Windows 11. Now let's say that you want to create a bootable USB drive. That's also really easy to do. You already have the ISO downloaded, you will also need a USB drive with at least 8GB of space. And then you will also need an app that allows you to turn your USB drive into a bootable device. And I am using a free app called Rufus to do that. The download link is up here, or you can check out the description down below. With Rufus, insert your USB drive and enter the settings that you see on the screen. This will then decompile the ISO onto the bootable USB drive. You can then insert it into a computer, reboot the machine. And that will allow you to install Windows 11. That's how easy it is to get the official Windows 11 ISO. If you like this video, please hit the like button. For notification on new videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button. Thank you for watching, see you on next video.